I mean, your feud with Spike dates back to, like I say, last year, almost immediately after Super Strong Style. And when you won Super Strong Style last year, I think you were already in the fans' eyes, the uh, uncrowned men's world champion in progress certainly in their eyes. And like I say, you had the full fan support. But uh, like I say, your, your feud, your rivalry, your story with Spike, um, it, it, like I say, it's going to be one of them storylines that would go down in progress history and probably one of your favourite feuds uh, of recent memory. Yeah, um, I appreciate Richie's comment about the uh, the, the turning from, from bad to good because um, I think my, the most rewarding stories are the ones that keep the audience engaged but reward the audience for watching for a long time and i liked that from like there was podcasts coming out before the third even the first spike title match where they were recounting like little things that were like little details of the of the narrative that dated back to pretty strong style and from the the match with brooks to the the, the eventual turn with the match of so much sunshine sunshine machine and such um so i, I really love that people like that part of it as well as the actual spike section of, of said story um the spike story was was obviously brutal um but i think it was the like i think a lot of wrestling fans although they liked me um saw me in a certain light or at a certain ceiling um i've always been a tag team guy because i love tag team wrestling i think it's um i think it's the most beautiful style of professional wrestling because you have so many moving parts and so many narratives you can tell with four people or six people um, and i think you have to be really smart and talented to be uh, a special degree of tag team wrestler like the people i look up to and aspire to be like um however um this was a a chance to show that i can do the things that make a special main eventer as a singles competitor which i think a lot of people weren't expecting and then um, i think the proof's in the pudding with i've had a few people contact me and say that they felt they, that that they wanted to admit to me despite me never like not knowing their opinion necessarily they wanted to admit to me that they were wrong or they i've seen like, someone published a really lovely article where they they literally outwardly put into paragraphs why what they thought why they now think they're wrong and what they believe now and i think being able to to turn the tide of or like turn the opinion of people through just my work, I think is um, a really nice thing to take away from this angle with Spike, this, this storyline, because uh, I put everything into that. I wanted to show that I could be the top guy because I, I, I don't want to be like too this way or that way about, about things. But like when wrestling was coming back in England, I wanted to make sure like, I was part of the, the the 11 players who took the ball at their feet and dribbled it out of our own goal and took it to someone else's. And um, I think I was a key player of that. And this is like, the, again, the culmination of that sort of thing.